Welcome everybody to the second uh, video that that uh, we're doing here. My name is Rutz and I'm here with Nick. Say hi Nick. Hi, this is Nick or Inner Princess if you prefer. <laughs> yep, and we're here watching, uh, like yesterday, the first part will be real life, Emart versus Pity Cowan. Yeah, so um, this time we have two right-handers, but uh, I think Pity Cowan is another quite conventional attacker and we know Emart's game, it's the up to the table blocking, so we'll see how this goes. Exactly. Maybe a bit of nerves there, a player of that standard wouldn't be expected to make a service mistake. Not right away, no. no. Same from Emart, you'd expect her to make that shot, so it might just take a few points for them to get into it. Yeah, I think they just got onto it. Well, good backhand from Pitakan, but uh, Emart was in a good position to make the block down the line. Mm, we've seen yesterday how good she is at that. Yes, yeah, I think she's more comfortable on the backhand side. A uh, nice Ooh. little switch from the backhand to yeah. the forehand. Bit of help from the net there. Yeah. Be interesting to see how long it takes him to work out where he needs to attack um, to start building control in these blocking rallies. Yeah. Oh, great but shot. it looks like he's almost setting it up like Alex did yesterday. So the, yeah. the third shot is his forehand. That's it. Yeah, and it, it's hard enough that if he can hit his corner, he's going to win the point. Good serve as well. Very spinny serve. Yeah, but aggressive return. He, he moved around that. So now that we know his intention is to, to run around the backhand side, take the forehand from there, maybe Mark will look to exploit that. And immediately she serves to the forehand side, but uh, he's very sharp. He's a very experienced player. Yeah. I think Alex said something about him playing the first Spanish division. Yeah, he's, he's definitely played at a high, high standard. I've played him in VR and he's a very tactical player. You can see he's working out the game, so he's experienced. Is it still allowed to stomp like that? I think I read something that it is. it was discouraged or something. It, technically, it has been, you know, outlawed for, for a long time, but, but people do get away with it. Um, the mm -hmm. original reasons behind it were to do with a different material of bat, which isn't really in use anymore, but the rule still stands, but it's not very tightly enforced. Okay. Still quite a tight match at the moment. There's not been a yeah. lot of big open play, which is where Emart would be more comfortable. So as the score ticks on, it is tipping in Pitakown's favour. Yeah, he's getting her into the position she doesn't want to be in that yeah, much. Absolutely. Uh, she's never really got comfortable there, and I'm sure that's by design. He, he's picking all the places she doesn't want it, and she's not allowed to get into her, her one rhythm. I think if, if she's going to start, like we saw against Alex, trying to look to come in with the first attack, I don't know if it's going to be strong enough to hit through Pitakown or even to open him up. So let's see if she does start to do that in this leg. Probably some nerves on her part too. Really effective serves. Yes, very good. Wow. This this time she, she got away with it. Yeah. yeah she, she got a little bit more comfortable with the blocking. Yeah. And it, it did look like he was in still control and when he put that uh, that counter hit in, it looked yeah. like he maybe regained control, but that's her level of blocking. She's not phased by it. She doesn't get pushed back from the table and it paid off. Unlucky. Yeah, he seems happy not to go for the big third ball attack now. He knows that putting the topspin in play and just moving Emart around is, is working enough. Wow, lovely backhand work. Yeah. He's got her very far from the table again. Yeah. 
And with backhand topspins that strong, he doesn't need to move around it for the forehand. So he's in a very comfortable position now. He knows he doesn't need to go for too much on the third ball attack, so he can do a nice safe attack. He also knows he doesn't need to run around his forehand too much, so keeps yeah. his movement calm. Very nice placement. Yeah. And you would say up until that point, she had the control of the rally that she wanted. It was a fast serve. She stayed up to the table, pushed him back, but he just picked his mark and found the right shot to attack on. Does feel like a she's... rushed. Yeah, she's winning points only really from his errors at the moment. She's not out and out taken full control of a rally and won it too many times. Mm -hmm. Just doesn't seem to be a way for her to open him up. He's on top no. of everything. It's like with Alex yesterday, the forehand's brutal. Yeah. And it's difficult when you're in that position you don't really know where you're going to place it to give yourself a chance. And, and he's done the right thing, which is that he's calmed down to the easiest level that he can win at. So he's removing as many mistakes from his game as possible. So you think he's just not going all out because he knows that a little bit less will also work? I think so, yeah. And that's difficult for her because that, from him that's saying, right, if you're going to win this, you're going to have to come at me and attack me because I'm happy to rally back and forth and then pick the right one to hit. And we yeah. know that she's not the comfortable opening attacker. Still doing enough to move him around so that if he does go for it, he's he's out of position. So she's she's staying in it, you know. The yeah, tactics yeah, she's, are still there. she's trying it out. Mm. Again, good return in the hip. You know, it's not just getting the ball back, it's putting it in those tricky spots. Yeah. In response, she gets the fast serve. Yeah. So, yeah, <laughs> yeah it's a good game, but uh, unfortunately quite one-sided there. Yeah, I'm going to be... Oops, that was a great start. <laughs> I'm going to be interested how it's how it's going to be uh, comfort wise for Emoid again because in VR yesterday you know yesterday's uh, match she she used she, she looked like she was a lot more comfortable in VR. Yes. Yeah. Um and actually to note we did say that she was on Quest 2. Uh, she's actually playing with a Quest 1. You can probably just yes. see the black controller there. So um ah, it's I think very that was the setting. Ooh. That is very impressive, yeah. yeah. The tracking's way worse there, but she's making it work. Uh, it doesn't look like it's... Oh. doesn't look like any worse. Yeah. <laughs> and she looks like she's countering a little more comfortably now. Um, the blocks aren't just coming back. They're coming back with a bit of interest, so... Um, yeah. She does seem more comfortable again here. And oh. better placement too. Yeah. Oops. <laughs> <laughs> He doesn't look as comfortable at all. Um, he's taking a very similar approach, which is to step back a little bit, but uh, he seems out of position more often now. Yeah. Unusual she stepped back on that one, and I think he took advantage. Yeah. She gave him the angle to work with. She's trying a lot harder, yeah. and yep, uh, it's gonna pay off like yes, like it did yesterday. Yeah, and there we go. She's got the first game, so big difference already in VR. I think it was the same yesterday, though. Yeah, against Alex, you won the first set too, and then Alex got a little bit more warmed up and then came back. Yes, yeah. We Let's saw see if that's the case here. A good backhand topspin from Pitikown early on. Again, it just sets the intention. And if he can get her on the back foot psychologically, that might be enough to start tipping some of the points in his favor. Exactly. But he needs to be he needs to be quick with it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 
but the net and the edges are doing her some, some favours at the moment. Lovely shot again. Yeah, he's getting the surfs right as well. Yeah, and there we can see, well, I mean, it's not a slow shot, but it seems in VR he's relying on the impact of the spin more than the pace. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, um, mm -hmm. Whereas in real life, he didn't seem like he was putting too much spin on it. He was just feeding in. Yeah. And he's got her on the back foot now. She is backing off a bit more. I think it's kind of a pattern in yeah. VR that the, the more powerful shots are being replaced with a little bit more spinny ones just because you can't really go 100% in VR. Yes. At least, at least I don't think I can. Yeah. Even though um, technically that thin contact you need for a, a spinny shot, I find a, a little bit harder to judge in VR, but um, it seems that most of the top players are finding their way to do it. Mm -hmm. Again, we're seeing the same okay. trouble with the serve. Yep. And there's and the there equalizer. So interested to see how this one's going to go now. Yeah, he's definitely opening up the attacks, and um, he might needs to not panic too much about that. Although he's found his stride, she needs to concentrate on the simple things, which is hitting the target. She's fed a lot into his comfortable backhand hitting zone. If she were to yeah. target the hip, or there she's targeted the forehand just to mix it up, that's going to do us some favours. But uh, well, an early A little lead. bit of frustration coming into play as well now. That's yeah. never a good thing. Yeah, we can see it there. That might break the momentum a bit. Yes. And pushing rallies, we didn't see too many in real life. He tended to open up, so maybe he's not feeling so confident. And when she sees that hesitation, she's definitely more comfortable pushing back and forth. Ah. It was going to come back sometime. <laughs> she has closed the gap quite well, though. Sometimes that little bit of frustration can give you a boost yes, yeah. that you need. So Pitakan is not taking on the third ball attack as much, but he's choosing to wait for the right shot in the rally um, and then spin it up, and she doesn't seem to be coping with that spin very easily. And an uncharacteristic mistake on the backhand block. Also, I think he's he's going for longer shots, a little bit more to the to the back edge. Yes, wow, brilliant counter hit there. That was right in her hip, very and well done. Yeah. from instinct, just played it cross court. It's tight. It's a great game so far. Oh, what a rally. Yeah, Shoot. really nice forehands from Pity Count. Yeah, but consistent. You might got them, got them well. Yeah. Blocked it well. He's doing a lot of work there, and it's exactly what she is comfortable doing. And that cross block was beautiful out to the forehand, has given her match point. And, and that's it. it. Tight game. What a great game from both players. Very, very yep. tactical. <laughs> really well played. <laughs> well, well enjoyed. I'm not going to translate this no, time. No, no, that was a horrible language. I can't believe he said that. But, uh, no, I'm kidding, I'm sure that's all... Not what I meant. <laughs> no, I'm sure that was all good sports between the pair of them. Uh, very interesting match to watch, actually. Um, the real life, it seemed like she never got into a stride, very similar to Alex. Maybe it was the, the nerves of the situation. Um, but, yeah, to turn that around after losing the second leg and win that one... You know, coming back to win that third. Very impressive work from Emart. It's also a thing with cameras, you know. Not <laughs> everyone likes to have a camera pointed towards yes. them. Yeah, it's true. What do you it's think? Kind of like sitting here with the microphone. <laughs> yeah, <it's, laughs> once the red light's on, yeah. Do you think Pitakown could have done anything differently? Um, 
to swing that in his favor? I don't know. I think I think the the, the playstyle Alex had yesterday with the third shot attack might have worked for him as well. He can definitely do it. Yeah. Yeah. I so maybe that, maybe maybe uh, switch up the serves a little bit more. It looked like he's always trying to get it in the same position. <laughs> yes. Yeah. He he seemed to gamble on that strategy I said about where he's not taking the third ball attack. Um, and this time Emart just didn't give him as many opportunities to wait. Um, so let's see if he brings in the third ball attack in the second match. Yep. Nice. So he's gone for a simpler serve on the backhand, and then he's looking to play the forehand wherever she returns it to. So he is looking for a stronger attack early on. Great return, though. Yeah, not really going for the third shot, but still... Keeping it a little bit more aggressive. Yeah. Getting her to move just a little bit more. He's not playing as many of those intermediate shots as he was in real life. It's either very spinny or, or you know, quite fast now when he comes mm -hmm. to attack. I think he's learned that in VR she's very comfortable blocking. So it's got to be a good attack. Otherwise he's, otherwise he's giving her the control that she wants. Yeah. It's preferably a faster one than a spinny one. Yeah. Good, good block there from me, Mark. Um, took away his time because she's so close to the table. Fast attack like that coming straight back at you is going to come very quickly. Good placement in the hip. Beautiful angle on that forehand as well. Nicely done, yeah. Oh, did all the hard oh, work worked. to get back in. <laughs> <laughs> He'll be kicking himself for that one. Good serve. It, to the feel, it yeah, feels nice and looks nice to be almost uh, hitting it under the table. Yes. Yeah. But if the last shot doesn't doesn't go there, <laughs> yeah. it's all for nothing. Yeah. Yeah, I think he, he saw that opportunity after getting back in to kill the point. And, and maybe having got in, if he just spun it up, he would have regained control. But Imad is not moving back at all. She's even no, on those she's angles. Not. She's staying, standing her ground. Oh, lovely yeah, shot. Sometimes standing around is not the right idea. <laughs> yeah. But then, if you go back, you know the angle. If he hits it wide, that angle only gets wider the further you are back from the table. So that's yeah, where she's comfortable. Lovely shot again. Yeah, good work there from Pitakau to win that one. Yeah. It really seemed to rest on whether or not he got his attacks in. You know, so it's it's his errors to make. And her job is to try and force the error. Exactly. That's usually what it's like with the more defensive playstyle. Yeah. Or I wouldn't call it defensive playstyle, blocking playstyle. Yeah, it's a, a sort of an active defense, isn't it? Yeah. I think that backhand in the net was probably frustration that he didn't go for the third ball attack on his serve. You know, he, he served short to the forehand, she pushed to his forehand, and then he pushed it in the net. You know, that really should be where he's looking to, to attack. He set it up, it's his shot to play. Yeah, that's the one where he's got to focus on. Yeah, that's a few points in a row, so maybe it has got in his head. You can see he's just resetting himself. Great work from Emart just to neutralize the attacks early on. Yeah, she's she's really trying to vary it a little bit more. Yeah. Knowing that he's uncomfortable now, she's she's doing what she does well. Put him under pressure. You know, make him make yeah. a quick decision that he doesn't want to make. He definitely seems to be a player that wants to know he's in control of the rally and set something up, and she's not giving him time to do that.
Lovely back end. Really good back end topspin from Pitigan. It's not the time you want to do it. Concentration. <laughs> oh. Yeah, that was frustration. Oh, and she's and got the it. equalizer again. Yeah. Great forehand. Nice. That forehand attack is is surprisingly quick. The backhand is so sort of consistently feeding that when you put it on the forehand, it's easy from her posture to assume it's not going to come through fast. And every now and then she can really hit one. So really rounded game from Emart we're seeing. Just, just, just not making enough on the angle. Yeah, yeah. Definitely seems to be a, a psychological element with Pitikown here. Um, maybe it's the you know the switch to the hardware that he's not used to, but uh, he's getting frustrated with these mistakes, and and that's what she's not doing. We're not seeing that from her. No, not at all. She's calm, and collected, waiting for the mistakes. can see he feels he needs to do something in those rallies, those push back and forth. She's happy to stand there and push it, so it's up to him to pick the shot. Mm -hmm. Lovely. There we go. That's Lovely what he shot, wants. Yes. Serve third ball attack in the hip. Oh, it was the right strategy. It was well, well set up oh that was a great return brilliant yeah from a, a very good attack from Pitta County be frustrated to see that one come back it is really frustrating when you get a nice one over and the other the other your opponent is just standing there <laughs> holding the pedal at the right angle yes. and it comes right back at yeah. you you're not even finished moving yeah <laughs> first time I played Eiffelton I put in a what I felt was a great backhand and it just came straight back and I thought oh no this is going to be a long Yeah, day. but he he's, he's, he should be illegal. I'm not sure <laughs> about him at all. <laughs> Here we go. This is tight, this match on the deciding leg. Great push, really tight down to the forehand. Uh, that would be sad if that's the deciding factor. Good work from Emart to come in with an attack. Ooh. That surprise of the attack Very nice. pushed him back and she committed to it at match point as well. Good work from him to pick the attack. Oh, Just as the pace picked up. Yeah. She stayed in and she forced, forced a difficult shot to win it. She wasn't going to go down easily. Oh, what a back and forth. Almost, yeah. Oh, what wow, a shot that was to a win. Great for her. Yeah. <laughs> that was a deserving winner. She yeah. definitely wasn't expecting that coming back that fast. And he no. went for it. Definitely not expecting it. That was an interesting match. Yeah. Really technically well put together. You know, there, there was a lot of work for both players to do to, to win that one. You know, nobody was, unlike the real life version, nobody was a kind of standout leader in that. Yeah, that's true. It was uh, a lot more on the line for both. You know, uh, with Alex yesterday, he just only, he only got uh, down in the game for a very short time and then came back right away and was the the more powerful more aggressive player all the time yes and this time he might really fought herself back and it's still it's a shame it didn't work i was kind of rooting for her yeah it was <laughs> there was a lot of evolution of their strategies and uh yeah the, the the game never just stood as as one thing going through cycle point after point after point and you know to see her bring in that forehand as she did to win that leg you know suddenly up the pace vary the pace choose between whether she's blocking topspin or whether she's trying to keep it to a, a push rally 
And then in response, we've got Peter Cowan choosing, okay, am I going to attack the third ball? Am I going to try and put that weight on the serve to force, you know, an easy to attack ball and try and kill it yeah, there? Yeah, exactly. Or am I going to get into a stop swing rally? And at the end, we saw only on the last sort of five or six points, once he knew, okay, I'm in a top swing rally, I've got to expect this ball to come back. For me to win this, I've got to surprise it with a change of pace. And in the end, that was what won it. Um, but that's not easy to do in VR. Exactly. And also, uh, you've seen when, when he decided to not go for the third ball, he only got himself into trouble numerous times. Yes, yeah. Because you think there's going to be an easier shot to come along and her job is to not give an easier shot. And eventually he'll go, yeah. if I'm not going to get an easy one, I've got to go for something. So well put Yeah, together. and then you go for some some sort of emergency weird shot that <laughs> usually doesn't work. <laughs> yeah, you're out of your comfort zone. You're not in position. The ball's maybe lower than you'd want it to be or there's more spin on it or there's not the angle that you'd want. And it's the kind of shot that if you miss it, you know immediately afterwards, well, I missed it because of those things, but immediately before, you know you've got no choice. You've kind of committed to you've, to opening and a sack up and there's there's no better opportunity. Yeah, it's a bad uh, bad situation to be in. Yeah, yeah, and that's that's the skill of Emar. You know, it's deceptive. It looks like she doesn't have the big hits of the big players, but it's in that detail of the technical approach that she has to her kind of active defense mm -hmm. that she, she can if she it. wants to. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, and it's it's always there waiting. You know, if you go too relaxed, she'll come in with a forehand and it's enough to push you back. <laughs> yeah, but great game, great game. Yeah, great hey, game man, to watch. Thank you very much for joining me again today. Yeah, no, it's been a pleasure. Um, if Alex lets us, we might do a few more. We'll yeah. see. Yeah, I'd like to see some other players. Um, maybe someone, not Emart. <laughs> we've, not, we've, yeah. we've got right into her game now for, for two matches. It feels like we're, like you say, we're rooting for her, so... Uh, be good to see some of the other matchups and and what's going on tactically there. Yeah, exactly. That would be great. And I hope you'll join us for this for this eventuality too. Yeah. And I'll see you guys next time. Yeah. Nick, thanks do you for watching. Say goodbye too. Bye. Then. Okay. Thanks. Bye bye. Bye.